Good evening, friends. Thank you so much for joining me here today. In today's video, I will be bringing you up to date on the latest stimulus news and information. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer confirms that American people will be receiving more financial assistance very soon. Many Americans could also receive extra stimulus checks of $2,000 as long as they meet new eligibility requirements. Friends, please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and watch until the end of this video to learn how to enter next Friday's $100 Walmart gift card giveaway. Thank you so much, friends. Yeah, I mean, look, there's only two things I don't like about this uh, reconciliation bill. One is the massive spending, and the other is how they raise revenue, <laughs> because they're both problematic. And this is one example where we did a lot of work on this, as you know, in the infrastructure package. And over the years, um, Senator Crippo and I have been focused on this IRS issue. How do you modernize the IRS so that it, you know, it can be a more effective tax collection agency but respect people's rights? The numbers they're coming up with are totally out of line with what we found in our analysis, but also what uh, Congressional Budget Office is telling them. So it's another example where, uh, unless they're doing as the Joint Tax Committee says they are, which is going uh, into people's bank accounts who are relatively lower income um, and, you know, creating incredible intrusion in people's lives, they're, they're not going to raise the revenue that they're claiming that they're raising. So it creates a gap on, on the revenue side. So there's just so many issues like this with this legislation. Part of it is because you all and we have not had the chance to actually sit down and analyze it because we weren't, haven't been part of the process and because no committee has been part of the process. So it hasn't gone through the Ways and Means Committee. It hasn't gone through the Finance Committee. So it's, just, it's, a, it's a good example. Let me give you a couple others. Senator Hovind was just talking about the impact of the $80,000 cap versus a $10,000 cap. That in, com in combination with the other provisions in this bill means that millionaires, people making over a million dollars a year, are going to get a big tax break here. Over 68 percent, almost 70 percent of millionaires are going to get a significant tax cut under this legislation. Those between $500,000 and a million dollars, 90 percent of them are going to get a significant tax cut under this legislation. However, if you're making 30000 bucks a year, only 30% will get a tax cut, and only in the first year. In the second year, it goes to 12%, third year to 10%, and down into single digits. So think about that. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer is insisting that President Biden's Build Back Better bill can pass his chamber by Christmas, even as doubts grow that such a timeline is achievable, given the procedures of the Senate and the lingering differences among Democrats. So in a letter to his caucus, Chuck Schumer said, that the next two weeks will involve ensuring that the sweeping expansion of the social safety net passes muster with a Senate parliamentarian and meets its strict budget rules, a process known on Capitol Hill as a birdbath. Going through that process alone could take consideration of the bill all the way up to the week of Christmas. And there are still significant differences remaining over the policies, namely from Senator Joel Manchin over how to deal with an expansion of Medicare, methane fees on energy producers, and tax provisions he wants to see changed. Moreover, there are still disagreements over treatment of state and local tax deductions, favored by Democratic leaders and resisted by a number of rank and file Democrats and liberals, such as Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders. All of this puts Chuck Schumer's Christmas deadline in a doubt. Even if a deal is reached on any of those issues, going through the formal process of getting cost estimates from the Congressional Budget Office and meeting the test under the budget rules can take several weeks. Senator Kristen Sinema and Joe Manchin have both voiced doubts that a bill can pass before this Christmas. So friends, do you think that the bill will pass before Christmas? Please leave your thoughts in the comments section below. The state of California began distributing 803,000 Golden State stimulus payments worth roughly $563 million. The breakdown for the latest distribution of $600 to $1,100 payments is 800,000 paper checks mailed to qualifying residents and 3,000 direct deposits. The second Golden State stimulus program has been issuing these crisis aid payments since early September and will continue to do so until all eligible taxpayers have received their checks. 
Recipients with qualifying dependents will receive an additional $500. The second Golden State Stimulus Program, funded by federal and state crisis aid, is for those who earn below $75,000 a year in adjusted gross income, as reported on their 2020 tax returns. A similar program, the first Golden State Stimulus, was created for low-income residents earning less than $35,000 a year. It is too early to say exactly how many Golden State stimulus payments will be issued. However, millions of Americans would like to see monthly relief payments sent out as well. Friends, the key word for this video is bacon. If you would like to enter this coming Friday's $100 Walmart gift card giveaway, please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel, click and like this video, and also comment below the key word from each video. Thank you so much, friends. Americans in some states could be in line to receive an extra stimulus check worth up to $2,000 if they return to the workplace. The governors of Arizona and Kentucky were among lawmakers to launch such initiatives. This is months before federal unemployment assistance payments ended on Labor Day. Republican Doug Ducey of Arizona proposed a back-to-work plan. Americans who landed a full-time job would receive a one-time stimulus check of $2,000, while there was a $1,000 cash payment for people who scored part-time positions. Representative Ducey wanted to get as many people as possible in the state to rejoin the workforce by Labor Day. Return to work incentives were also announced in Kentucky, Maine, and Montana. Kentucky Governor Andy Beshear revealed that up to 15,000 residents of the state would be paid a $1,500 bonus if they returned to the workplace. Governor Andy Bashir said, We want every Kentuckian working and participating as we sprint out of this crisis with our economy booming. And Maine Governor Janet Mills also offered employers a $1,500 payment for workers who start jobs between June 15th and June 30th, or a $1,000 check for Americans who return to work back in July. She predicted that the cash could reach up to 7,500 people living in the state of Maine. Many states, including Florida, Illinois, Idaho, and Kansas, chose not to introduce a return-to-work incentive once the unemployment assistance scheme ended. Meanwhile, Californians and New Yorkers are among those expected to receive extra cash. Thank you so much, friends, for joining me here this Tuesday evening. I greatly appreciate all of you who are watching my videos every day. If you would like to enter this coming Friday's $100 Walmart gift card giveaway, please make sure you click and like my videos, comment below the keyword to each video, and also make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much, friends, and have a very, very blessed Tuesday.